Hello F1, how's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to increase the FPS in the crew motor fest. So if you're getting a very low frame rate, I know the game is capped at 60, if your computer's able to handle that. But if you are getting lower and you really want to increase those numbers, then this video is for you. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is launch the game. Once you've launched the game, go ahead and select options. So now we're within options, we want to just jump straight into the video settings. So we need to enter into here. And of course you can run a benchmark and see just how well your computer handles the game and what settings the game recommends, but we're just going to do this manually. So the first thing, of course, you want to ensure that you do have the correct video adapter selected. So I've got my AMD Radeon RX 6750 XT selected, which is correct. The next thing that you want to do is ensure that window mode is actually set to borderless. You then want to make sure render scale is on one. If you decrease this, it is going to increase the FPS, but also decreasing this is going to decrease the quality. So if you don't mind the quality being slightly worse within the game, then you could technically bump this down slightly, maybe even to 0 0.95. So I wouldn't really go any lower, definitely no lower than 0 0.90. But if you really want to increase the numbers, so after doing everything I'll show you in the video, if you're still getting a low FPS, then just change the render scale, just lower it slightly. So I'm just gonna keep that on one for a second. The next thing you want to do is just change this to TAA and VSync, you're going to want to turn this to off. Having this on, it's going to lock the frame rate and obviously it's going to eliminate that screen tearing, but we want obviously to have a higher frame rate. So just turn VSync off. Once you've done that, the next thing that we want to do is go across to quality. So here is where we can change how the game graphics is going to look. Straight away, you can see mine's on custom. So texture filtering, obviously this does all depend on your system. Every system is different. But the first thing that we want to do is just go ahead and change this one to medium. Shadows, you don't need shadows. You can turn them off unless you really like the look of shadows and stuff. Having shadows on is going to impact that FPS. So we want to just completely whack that to off. Again, I've got that on ultra, but I'm just going to change that to high. If we go down a bit more, oh, I just lost it then. So here again, Having this on high, this option here, it's really going to have an impact within the game. Turning it to low, you can see in the picture on the right, we're losing a few of those plants and stuff on the floor. Changing this to low is really going to help improve the FPS within the game. Again, we got terrain. You don't need the terrain to be on ultra. You would get away with medium. In fact, even low, because you're going so fast in the game driving and stuff, you're not really going to notice the terrain too much. If we scroll down a bit more, we've then got, we want to look at oh, motion blur. We want to just turn this off completely as well. It's a pointless effect. I don't like the effect. It, it makes me feel sick, to be honest, when motion blur is on. Again, we got um, ambient occlusion there. We want to just turn this to off. And then we got screen space reflections. So this is really going to impact your um, FPS. You can see on the right hand side here, we've got it off. So there's no reflections there in the water. Now, if I whack that up to high, you can see there really is a lot going on in that picture, which means again, your computer, your graphics card is gonna be working really hard. So just toggle this option here to off. Now, once you've changed all that, go ahead and jump into the game and see how much of an FPS increase you've had. If you don't know how to display an FPS counter, then I will pop a link in the description below on how you can do that. But that's the settings that we're looking for. Of course, environment and stuff, you'll probably, you might not have all that on ultra, you might have it on high or medium. If changing those settings hasn't helped, then the next thing that you could do if you really want is just change it all to low. And then again, just make sure shadows is off and all the things that we could basically toggle to off, just turn it to off. So now that you've done everything that you can within the game, if that hasn't helped, the next thing that we need to do is make some changes within Windows. So I'm now gonna go ahead and close down the crew. 
Now, once you're on Windows, the first thing that you need to do is download a program that I created called Easy Gaming Utility. You don't have to, you can skip this method if you want, but it's a very handy tool that I'm always adding more features to, to help out gamers like us. So the first thing that you need to do is select the clean tab and just go down to graphics cards and click on clean next to your graphics card. This is just gonna clear out those old cache files and really help improve obviously the crew. If you have the pro version, you can actually select launch and you can then add the crew to the launch option here and you can launch the game in high priority. But seeing as you might have the free version, I don't know, you can obviously change it to above normal, which changing the priority of a game does help. All you need to do is click browse and then just browse for the games.exe, click open and go add game and you can then select the game and go launch the game. If that doesn't work, then you, if you have the pro version, you can also force the game to run in high priority, which is here. So that's enough about Easy Gaming Utility. Great program, has a lot of features. So the next thing that we want to do is ensure that we are running a decent power plan. So you can check this by opening up Start Menu, type in Control Panel, open up Control Panel, and we then want to select Power Options. Ensure you've got few by on small icons, and then you will see the option here. Now go ahead and select high performance. As you can see, I actually have the ultimate performance plan selected. So this is something I'm going to add again into EGU, but for now, if you click on the link in the description below, there's a guide that I've done on how you can add this plan as well, which will give you that extra bit of performance for the games. So now we've done that, the next thing that you want to do is make sure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. Having the latest updated driver can really help increase the FPS, especially if yours is out of date. And to do this, all you need to do is head on over to the manufacturer's website for your graphics card. If you've got NVIDIA, head to their website, AMD, go to the AMD website, Intel, go to theirs. If you're not sure what graphics card you have, then you can right click on the start menu icon, go to device manager, expand display adapters, and you will then see, like I can see, I've got an AMD. Now that you've done that, another thing to do is also make sure you have the latest Windows updates installed. And you can do this by right clicking on the start menu icon, go into settings, update and security, and then click check for updates. Now the reason why I say ensure Windows is up to date is because Windows actually updates DirectX 12 through the Windows updates. So this is very important when it comes to gaming. Also, we do want to update the other DirectX files, so you now need to click on the other link that's in the description below. Once you've done that, you will end up on a page that looks like this. Go ahead and select your language and click download. Once the file's downloaded, go ahead and run the setup file. You then need to agree to the terms. If you do, click I accept and then go next. If you want to install Bing Bar, then keep that selected and then click on next again. And it's now going to see if there's any new files available for obviously DirectX on your computer. Once that's finished, if it does detect any new files and installs them, you can see that I've got the latest files installed already. But if yours did install new files, go ahead and try the crew motor first and see if that helped obviously fix the low FPS issues that you're having. Now the next thing you're going to want to do, this depends on what graphics card you have, is to right click on your desktop and then select AMD software, or if you have an NVIDIA, then select NVIDIA control panel. Now this is going to give you some settings for your graphics card. So I've obviously got an AMD graphics card, so what I need to do is go to the gaming tab and then select graphics and then select performance. Your screen might go blank for a few seconds, just give it obviously a couple of seconds, and then there we go. I'm now on the performance option. If you have an NVIDIA, you're going to want to do the same sort of thing. You need to open up the control panel, and then you're looking for some sort of power mode option. You need to select this, so select, um, it should be under 3D settings, then manage power and display settings. Select the power mode, and then you need to change it to performance. Once you've done that, that is it. We can close down the control panel that you're currently on. So we now need to right click on the start menu icon and we then need to select settings. Once you're on settings, we need to select gaming and you then need to toggle the game bar to off and you want to select game mode and ensure this is turned on. 
as this is going to optimize Windows for gaming. Once you toggle game mode to on, you can then close down settings. And the next thing that we want to do is right click on the start menu. And that came out totally wrong. Right click on the start menu and go to task manager. You then need to go to startup and you then need to disable any programs that you do not need to launch with Windows. As you can see, basically all my programs are disabled apart from Easy Gamer Utility, of course. Now, once you've done that and disabled everything, we can close down Task Manager. You now need to make sure you don't have anything else running on your computer when trying to play the crew mode first, as it could be having an impact on your system causing the game to lag and stuff, and it will obviously then decrease the FPS. We want the game to have as many resources as it can possible. We don't want your system being hogged up by say Firefox or a web browser or something like that. So close everything down and then launch the game. Also, another thing that you can do when having FPS issues with the crew mode first is to ensure that you have the game installed on an SSD drive. Now, if you've got it installed on a slow hard drive, then that's gonna cause frame rate issues. So install the game on the fastest possible hard drive that you have in your computer. And if you don't have a really fast SSD, then it might be worth going out and purchasing one. Because I can tell you for one, Starfield, if you wanted to purchase that game, cannot run on a HDD. It requires an SSD and that's the way forward. That's where games are now going. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it helped you out. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more Computer Sluggish videos, then click the subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.